Okay, say for instance um, you go to prison, everything of value is taken away from you. Um, your time, your attention, your freedom, your ability to function as a contributing member of society, um, the option uh, to apply your intellectual and manual skills, uh, even your property is of no use to you and cannot benefit, you cannot benefit from its ownership if you're in prison. Now likewise, when the United States declared bankruptcy, it pledged all Americans, in 1933 by the way, it pledged all Americans as collateral against the national debt and confiscated all the gold, eliminating the means by which you could pay. It also assumed legal responsibility for providing any a new way uh, for you to pay, and it did that by providing what is known as the exemption an exemption from having to pay for anything. In practical terms, though, this is meant uh, giving each American something to pay with, and that something is your credit. So what they did, the, they filed bankruptcy, another 70-year international bankruptcy cycle, and they took all the gold, which is all the, uh, before 1933, all the money um, was backed by gold or silver. Uh, and so what they did is they took all that out of circulation. Uh, House Joint Resolution 192, President Roosevelt said you had a certain amount of days, and on May 5th you had to go down and trade in all your uh, um, your United States notes for Federal Reserve notes, which is uh, a privately owned uh, consortium of bankers, international bankers, uh, who um, made us go on, on their program and, and pay uh, pay in sh uh, interest on, on their their money, which is not money, it's it's debt, it's credit. So they made all Americans uh, Sherpa Counter uh, Maternity Act um, get birth certificates, and they took the certificate of live birth and uh, through an SS5 uh, created a Sustake Trust and uh, basically you're the, actually the beneficiary of the trust, but they kind of make you believe that you're the uh, trustee of the trust, which is um, not exactly true. Uh, but anyway, um, just a little uh, back reference there. Um, so you and I have an unlimited su supply of commercial credit. Banks don't loan money, they loan credit. Um, um, so your value to society, and then, and, and still is calculating using actual tables at your birth, bonds equal to this average value are created. And I understand it's anywhere from 1 to 2 million right now. Originally it was 670,000 or something that your, uh, each that the banks would give that amount of credit uh, to each uh, birth certificate, or certificate of live birth that the, um, the corporate entity known as the United States of America um, put up as collateral. And then it was hypothecated ten times fractional reserve banking. Um, so these bonds are collateralized at your birth, uh, by your birth certificate, which becomes a negotiable instrument. The bonds are hypothecated, traded until their uh, value is unlimited by all, for all intents and purposes, and all that credit created is technically and rightfully yours. In point of fact, you should be able to go into any store in America and buy anything and everything in sight, telling the clerk to charge it to your exemption account, which is identified by the nine-digit nine number that you will recognize as your Social Security number without the dashes. It's your EIN number, which stands for Exemption Identification Number. However, the clever rascals have done everything in their power to block your access to your own credit by creating a corporate fiction which is a trust identified by your name in all capital letters. It is commonly referred to as your straw man. It is a debtor, like all corporate entities under the bankruptcy, because it is a subset of a bankrupt debtor government. It is not you, but you unknowingly serve as a trustee for this fiction, manage it for a lifetime, and are legally liable for all any and, and all debts that incur incurs unless by administrative means you lay claim to any and all value it might contain by creating a security agreement between you and it. Once you have done this, no other fiction can have any dealings with your fiction without their express, your express permission as a creditor and creator of its value. It cannot even be sued without your permission. In fact, no court, government agency, law enforcement agency, attorney, and other corporate entity can transact business of any kind with your straw man without your position. How do you go about doing this? Uh, there's a process. If you go to stopthepirates.blogspot.com, I've laid it out in a 
uh, fairly simple uh, details, a uh, couple documents you put together, notarize them and send them to the uh, to the right place. You're going to take it, take control of your Sustake Straw Man Fiction account, and then the whole world will will uh, open up a whole lot wider for you. Um, this is business. This is how it's done. A lot of people out there are saying, "Hey, this is all crap. You know, it's all domestic terrorism, and that's all bullshit." Because this is how the uh, the world works. It's uh, the law of water. It's uh, maritime adulty. It's the law of commerce. So you and I have a, a straw man fiction created at our birth. Our our own little corporation, our own little ship on the its high seas of commerce that we're the admiral of. We're the uh, we're the captain of the ship. But right now, um, our ship has been hijacked and taken over uh, by a group of gangsters <laughs> and a group of pirates. Um, they're boarded our ship and they took control of our ship and they're making us liable for all their corporate debts. So what you need to do is stop the pirates.blogspot.com and uh, take back control of, of your your property. The only reason they took control of it is because they, 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 they just do that by assumption because you didn't have any awareness that you even had it. So they figured it's abandoned property and they're just going to take it. So you need to file the paperwork to get your property back very easy. Go to StopThePirates.BlogSpot.com and uh, I put together a package for you there and uh, other remedies, you know, because there is no money to, to pay anything, um, you can do what's called accepted for value. If anybody sends you a bill, it's not to you, it's to the All Capitals name. Check it out. You get a bill from the uh, power company, the phone company, Sears, Roebuck, whoever, the name is always in capital in all capital letters because it's dead. It's a dead thing. It's a corpse. It's a corporation. It's not you. Look at your, your check. If you still use checks, you have a bank account. Um, your name is in all capital letters on your check. Look at the line where you sign it. Um, turn it upside down. It'll say MP. Get a magnifying glass and look at it. Um, it's micro print. It'll say authorized representative, authorized representative, authorized representative. You're the authorized representative for the straw man fiction account. You're actually an employee of the bank. It's your bank. And they use your credit. When you create money, when you sign a check and give it to them, they keep it. You just created that money, and they hypothecate it. Um, there's a process called 1099 OID or 1099A, um, uh, where you can go through the uh, the Treasury and have uh, or the Internal Revenue uh, Collection Company, privately owned corporation, and get some remedy that way. Um, just to be on the safe side, I'll, I'll just say that this is. All, all for entertainment pur pur purposes only, but uh, it's all uh, this is all real stuff. And it, uh, unless and until you you find out exactly what's happening on this, in this commercial world, um, you, you're going to be lost at sea for a long time. So you have you do have a remedy, and this is it. Go to stopthepirates.blogspot.com. I just have a compendium of of a massive amount of information. It's massive. Massive. Any, anything you ever wanted to know about this subject and other subjects similar to this, and relating to this, I have it. I've been compiling it over the last seven or eight years now. Um, so I can put it all together in a package and, and uh, forward it to you, uh, get it out to you immediately, and it'll be the best money you've ever spent in your life. Thank you very much. Stop the pirate. Stop blogspot.com. Thanks. Bye.